Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am privileged today to be joined by the new head football coach at Friends University, Coach Terry Harrison. Coach, congratulations on the new gig. I, I know it's uh, just a trip down the road from where you are before, but uh, I know the folks in Wichita are very glad to have you there. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, couldn't be more excited. And, um, you know, Wichita has been my hometown since 2006. And so coming back to what, to what my wife and I both consider a hometown, we're all three kids were born has been has been so exciting and um you know we we're just excited to get to work and um you know about fringe university and the mission of the institution and um man what we think we can do here football wise that's fantastic to get to be where you have so many ties already and so it's a it's a, a bit of a homecoming for you in that let's talk about friends then and the institution i have a quote from dr Carey, who is the friends president and she said we believe that uh, he will bring a positive, faith-filled team culture and set us on a path for success on and off the field, talking about you when you were announced back on November 16th. Talk about what that quote means to you and, and uh, how you do bring it to pass. Well, you know, it's, it's very humbling to hear somebody, you know, that I respect as much as Dr. Carey to, to say something like that about about our football program and, and what we do as a coaching staff. But, you know, her leadership, what she'd done at Fringe University, just, you know, we, we couldn't talk long enough about the leadership she's, she's provided here and what, what, what Fringe University has done in Wichita. And I really believe it is the elite um, small college in, in, the, in the state of Kansas and if not the region and arguably in the country. And it's just, uh, you know, a phenomenal place that I'd be so proud for my kids to go to school here. And I think that's the biggest thing I can say about Friends University is um, it's a place that I hope my daughters go to school and my, and my young son when he gets old enough. And so um, that's a, the most positive thing I can say about it. But no, we're so excited to bring, you know, a, a football program and our core values that, that align with the, the institution programs and mission and the vision and the values of the institution. And so it's um, we think uh, what friends football could be here. Um, truly, the sky is the limit. And so our hope is if we can have a program that honors God at an institution that values that at the highest level, um, you know, regardless of winning football games or not, you know, it, it, it's going to be something that when kids leave here, um, our families uh, can be proud of it. And so just excited to get to work and excited to recruit to that end. We're speaking now with Terry Harrison here on Midwest Sportsnet. I encourage you please to consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more through the Midwest and beyond. And Coach, you know, I would be remiss to not at least mention where you came down the road from. I mentioned you you come down the road to, to friends. You were in North Newton, Kansas at Bethel for the past four seasons. And what a time there, especially this past season. Nine and two record overall, nine and one in the KCAC. As far as I'm concerned, and by the way, they didn't ask my opinion, I think you should have made the playoffs this year just one of those things but again they they didn't ask but what a, what a great season and and you do close things out well there yeah you know so it's hard to leave anywhere you know and um the way we talked to the players there um when we left was you know it's, it's hard to understand right now but may, when you're 40 years old and you have a job and you have some life experience you know my hope is at that time they'll understand and even though that's years down the road we're just so thankful and grateful for the families and the players um that, that that are bethel college professors and they they did you know embrace everything we asked them to do and um you know my hope is that you know we inherited a program there um that had 32 players the day we showed up um hadn't won more than three games in over a decade um and then able to build that to back-to-back -back conference championships um the mo the first two win season in school history um the f highest national ranking in school history and all kinds of records broken along the way but more than that um, we hope a program that, you know, the guys made best friends and all, and all those good things. And we did. We were a Christian word football program. And, and my hope that the foundation has been set there. Certainly, um, I'm, I'm so thankful for Tony Hoops and President Gary there. And, um, you know, that I, I think we left it certainly much better than we found it. Um, and, and, and they they are set up for success long term there. Um, and, and, you know, I would say that, um, you know, more than anything, I'm proud of that. And what makes it hard to leave is it is hard. Um, but it is also a compliment to the job you do somewhere when you leave a place like that. But no, we, uh, we are certainly proud um, of, of our time spent there. And I can tell you that also gives me hope, you know, for Fringe University and, and where we find this program um, and what we can do here. And so um, I think it's a, you know, an exciting time here at Friends just because we, we, we do have proof that, that we can create a program that, number one, um, is a Christian uh, football program that has a Christian impact on the local community and the campus community, but also um, compete at the national level. And so, man, if we can do that at a place 
um, uh, like Bethel, we can certainly do that here at Fringe University. Um, and we hope ha have an even bigger impact on a community. And so that's, that's kind of some of the motivation and the why uh, of why we're here at Friends. Well, that's, I appreciate you uh, answering that question as such because I, I know people uh, look at uh, the, when coaches make changes and, and move from place to place and what what are part of the rationale and uh, behind all that. So I, I appreciate that. Well, Coach, you, you know, by the way, one and nine coming in the previous season before you got to Bethel, hey, you're looking at a very similar situation right now at Friends, one and nine to complete the 2021 season. I would ask you then how things are going then. Obviously, you have the, the Friends shirt on already. You were announced back in mid-November. Here we are closing in on mid-December. Uh, recruiting, uh, family's already on campus. How's everything going for you? And do you feel like that you've been able to hit the ground running there in Wichita to, to get things in place for the 22 season? Oh yeah, we, we've absolutely hit the ground running. You know, we were we were recruiting a lot of great players from all over the country, um, and so you know, not having to move across the country and actually being at a at a school that's close to my house, you know, it's made it a little easier to get to work every day. And so, you know, a lot of those kids are visiting now. And, and you know, we 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 want to recruit. We want recruiting competition, right? We open competition on the football field. We open comp. We were open for competition in recruiting, um, and what we know, um, like me, right? I never, you know we say make the big time where you are right and, and big time is certainly not a, a building it is not a place it truly is the state of your heart and we were able to do that in the past but what i can tell you is when you visit schools in the state of kansas the challenge that we've told every family every parent is visit every school in the state of kansas all right and what we know is when you do that and you get on our campus and you meet our two full-time strength coaches, you hear about our seven graduate programs, our business, our master's in business you can get in five years here alongside playing football, um, you know, with a 5,000 student enrollment, just a beautiful place right in the heart of Wichita. When, when you visit us, um, it is a no-brainer. So quite honestly, the, the institution recruits itself. And so as we have success on the field, um, it, it, it will make it certainly uh, what we believe a, a no-brainer for a lot of families. And we, while we know we're certainly not for everyone, um, for those Christian warrior football players out there who want to come here and um, you know be about a part, uh, be a part of something much bigger than themselves, is a no-brainer. But you know, you mentioned the current players. Bizarre, we got here right around Thanksgiving break, and then with Christmas break coming and finals, we've met the team a couple times. And honestly, we've just been meeting them being their cheerleader in the weight room. I mean, I have not ran one weight session. I have not ran anything. What we have done is hopefully show them, like, this is who we are. Had a couple meetings of, hey, this is a scary time. You know, in the, in the world of college athletics, it's scary when you get a new coach. Um, but if you have any fear or anxiety, man, you need to put that aside. Because what you just got is an entire full-time staff from a top 10, top 10 program in the country that chose friends. Um, and we left a pretty good situation to come here. And that's the biggest testament we can tell families and people out there is there's a reason why we're here. Um, and we are so excited um, about what we're going to do here. And honestly, for us, that starts January 10th. We have our big spring kickoff event. We're going to share that vision for who we are and what we want to do. And, and then we're simply going to get to work and focus on ourselves, focus on our current families and, and players and, uh, man, get to work and know that, uh, you know, outside of football, man, the experiences we have here are going to be, be ones that, you know, shape these guys' lives forever. And so, I mean, you know, exciting. And I could talk about that all day, so I better stop there. <laughs> Well, listen, I, I I could listen to you talk all day, Coach. You, you're one of those people I I really appreciate hearing you you talk. But I'll I'll wrap it up because I know that you have a, a lot going on there. And I, I just to look around then, and and it's neat to get to hear that you know you're able to bring your staff with you and uh, something that obviously has already been able to accomplish a lot. You, you're just going to try to do it in a, in a different location now with 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 different uh, pieces in place for you. But with that in mind, then. This is a conference, really, that that has, I, I think, really come along. And I mean this. In the last two or three years, specifically, really has has stepped up. I think it was a great thing for the KCAC to get two football teams in the playoffs. Honestly, again, thought they should have been three. They didn't ask me. One of these days, maybe they will. But until that time, you know, you look at it and go, this is a conference that's grown. And, and your successor in, in Coach Stokes, I had a chance to, to visit with him yesterday. He says hi, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I definitely wanted to get that across. He said, hi, he appreciates you. Uh, you know, you, you know that there's something good happening in Bethel. And all around the KCAC, there's a lot of growth. You're headed into something big in 22. Yeah, you know, it, it's been phenomenal. And, you know, and when we when we got um, to Bethel, it was, hey, if we were 
I mean, for like we it was the worst team in the conference. I mean, not in a bad, it just was, right? It was no. statistically and record wise at the bottom, right? And so our simple our task there was simply, hey, let's try to be relevant in the conference. And if the worst team in the conference can get relevant, you know, what's that saying? You know, a rising tide lifts all ships, right? And so if we can do that, it will make the conference better. And success in our conference out and out and outside conference play is good for everyone. Right. So having a relevant KCAC across the country helps us all. And we've seen that with Kansas Wesleyan. Uh, Southwestern College did a great job this year, almost beat Marion, who's a traditional powerhouse in our in our in our division. And so, man, what it does is, you know, more than, you know, pride for the institution and pride for our conference. You know, I'm always pulling for our conference now to conference games. Um, what it does is it gives our players hope to know, look, if you come here. Right. So our Wichita kids, these these great football players inside of our within five miles of our campus, there's hundreds. If you come here and you can win a conference championship, you can win a national championship. Right. And so it's not selfish for recruits or families to want to do that. Right. And so now we know if you're good enough to win our conference, you're good enough to win a national championship. And I think that's good for everyone. Right. Certainly it's good for me at Fringe University and our staff and our players and, you know, all those weightlifting sessions and all the time you put in. Right. It could pay off in a national championship if you play well enough in the conference. And so that's good for everyone. Right. And so there's no it, it's one of those deals. You are competitive and we want to beat Kansas Western. We want to beat Southwestern. We want to beat Sterling. We want to beat all these teams. Um, but certainly success outside the conference and on the national level is good for all of us. Right. And so right. that's what's been it's been cool to see that. Like you mentioned, Joey, you know, I played at Sterling in the early 2000s and it was well known. You know, you can win your conference, but you're not going to play off game. Well, how cool is it now to know that a yeah. kid from a kid from Lufkin, Texas, can come <laughs> up here, right, and know you can compete for a national championship if you're willing to, you know, have a positive team culture and do all the things your coaches are asking you to do, right, across the conference, right? So many great coaches and so many great programs. If you're willing to do that, it could pay off in a national championship. And so for me, it's been exciting. It's been motivating. Um, man, there's so many coaches now that are attracted to the, the KCAC that want to get in the game, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think I need to change my Twitter bio. To, I made coaching in the KCAC cool, Joey. That's what I'm going to do, right? <laughs> made it big time. And so I've got buddies out there everywhere asking me, like, how do you get into college? How do you get into college? Like, yeah. well, nobody was beating down the door two years ago, you know? So, but it is cool, right? So it's good for players, right? Great coaches, great players, great institutions with great, that have great missions that can be life-changing for kids, um, and so I am proud to be a part of it. And, you know, where we're at at Friends is um, we're just starting this thing. And our hope is, you know, if we can get just simply get relevant in the conference. And, you know, our focus is simply inwards, not on other schools. Um, and so if we can do that, um, our message to these guys will be, hey, everything we're asking you to do will pay off. And so it is truly simple. It's a simple process. Now, it's not easy, but it is simple. Right. And so that's our focus. Focus inward, focused on the mission. And uh, man, if we can do that. Um, the fact that it can pay off in postseason success is it's great for everyone in the state and regionally, you know, for people that are fans of our conference. Coach, you make me smile, and I appreciate that. I enjoy listening to you every time, and I, and, uh, I appreciate what you do on the field and off the field. We are looking forward to seeing what takes place then in 2022 there on the campus in uh, Wichita at Fringe University. Coach Terry Harrison, the new football coach for the Falcons for the 22 season and beyond. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today. I know Christmas is right around the corner. Merry Christmas to you and success to you all uh, as, uh, as you have the new venture going. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate you, man.